Uh, what, what we have essentially is a nation at war. We have a wartime president standing behind me. The Defense Production Act uh, is one of the most powerful weapons this administration can, can use to fight the invisible enemy of the virus. When I spoke with you last week, I explained the three points of the compass DPA can be used to hit. The, the first one is mobilization of the industrial base. This can involve things like repurposing from, say, a distiller like Pernod Ricard from liquor to hand sanitizer. It can also involve expansion of production, which is having Honeywell, which makes N95 masks, open a new factory in Smithfield, Rhode Island. With respect to the second point of the compass, allocation of resources, we have two issues there. If you look at the manufacturer itself, you, what you want to make sure is that the supply chain, which can go seven tiers deep, has enough components in that supply chain so we can actually make what we need. And then once it's made, you also want to make sure that it goes to the right, right people. And then the third point of the compass, which, which addresses what you're talking about, uh, is, is basically bust them, I call it, hoarding of critical or threatened materials. So let me walk through what, what the President did today in terms of a strong action, what we've done, the EPA, the EPA across those three points. The first order, President Trump signed was, was vigorous, swift. It was the GM order, which directed GM to make ventilators in Kokomo, Indiana, in Trump time, which is to say as fast as possible. As the President mentioned, he spoke to Mary Barra today, the CEO of GM. That is moving forward at the same time as the Ford project uh, is moving forward in uh, Rawsonville, Michigan. And I've issued a challenge to those two companies, a la Ford versus Ferrari. This is Ford versus GM. Let's see who gets those ventilators out first. Now, the second point of the compass, which these two orders address today, is this allocation of resource issues. The, the ventilator companies themselves uh, express concern that in this rush to build ventilators, there would be pressure on that supply chain. So what they, they requested that we do and the President do is to use the DPA to give this gentleman here, who's one of the strongest gentlemen in the world in terms of applying things, is to give him the ability to prioritize that supply chain for those ventilator manufacturers. And he will do things like give them what's called a DO rating in the defense procurement, which will allow them to get what they need. Now, the second order, which the President signed today, um, has to do um, with the other part of the equation, which is once they make the stuff, okay, where does it go to the right, right folks? And this is a 3M order. And, and to be frank, uh, over the last several days, we've had some issues making sure that all of the, the, the production that 3M does around the world Enough of it is coming back here to the right places. So what's going to happen with the signing of that order in Trump time is we're going to resolve that issue with 3M probably by tomorrow close of business because we can't afford to lose days or hours, even minutes in this crisis. Now, the third part of the compass, the third point there, this gets to the hoarding uh, issue. Uh, the president stood up here with, with – uh, he's the commander-in-chief. But we have a sheriff in town, too, Attorney General Barr. And he stood up here with Attorney General Barr, and Bill Barr said, I'm going to go out and bust him. And, and guess what? Three days ago, DOJ went into a, a warehouse in Jersey, grabbed PPE. And the beauty of that, the beauty of that we, wasn't only seized, but within hours it was turned around and given to health care professionals in New York and New Jersey. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful case of using the DPA. Now, what's going to happen tomorrow is the President's going to sign another order, which is in the works. This is interesting. There is a black market springing up, which you have described, where we're having people bid against each other. Brokers come in. They're bidding and bidding on all this different PPE. It's driving the price up. And guess what? You know where it's going? The domestic sources here are being exported. When President Trump heard about that, he said, that's not going to happen on, anymore under my watch. So tomorrow we're bringing that order. And what's going to do is it's going to empower Customs and Border Protection with the help of people like the Post Office and express mail consigners uh, like UPS 
uh, to basically uh, deal with that issue. So we are going to crack down unmercifully. And I would say to the, the hoarders out there, the brokers who are trying to make money off, off the misery of, of people in this country or around the world, that's got to stop. And if you've got inventory, what you need to do is pick up a phone and not call somebody out in, in, around the world. You call FEMA and say, we got some stuff, we'll give it to you at a fair price and be done with that because that stuff has absolutely got to stop. So